Hello, welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to discuss two things. The first is the new propellers for the DJI Phantom 3 and how we balance them. First thing we need to look at is the propellers themselves because they are not the same as the propellers that came with any of the Phantoms that come before. The last Phantom came with the DJI 9450s. I believe it was the Vision Plus that had them. Before that, they were shipping them with the DJI 9443s, which is one of these. This is the same propeller that came with the E300 kit. Great propeller, really good propeller. Nice and easy to recognise. Metal hub in the middle. You've got your cap colour, which depends on your motor. Blades and your metal hub. Now this is where the important difference is with the Phantom 3. So these hubs are metal. You could just put them on your bird, spin them up and they'd spin up nice and easily. One of the big new features of the Phantom 3 is the active braking system which slows the motor down very rapidly. The problem with that is if you were to use one of these propellers on that, because they wind and unwind on so very easily, the propeller could actually self undo in mid-air and come off. So you could lose a propeller in the air and your lovely new toy would fall out of the sky. So what DJI have done to stop that happening is they've introduced a new type of propeller which is this it is still the 9450 as was issued on the previous generation but it is now composite hub in the center this hub in the middle is not plastic it is not metal it is plastic it is a composite material what it does is it grips the shaft on the phantom a lot tighter so if i try spinning it by finger it, it, it's 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 not the same as the metal one the metal one will just spin really easily the plastic one there's it's that one spins quite nice to be honest that one's been on and off a few times this one which is new if you see it doesn't spin the same it, it grips and it tightens very differently so the idea is that these props will not come undone in mid-air by themselves it's very important do not use metal hubbed props on your phantom 3 there is another good reason not to do it is cost the new propellers for the phantom 3 are very cheap they're almost a third of the price of the old metal hub propellers. Now I'm a little bit sceptical of the reason of that. I don't see DJI cutting the price in third for no reason. I have a feeling that these hubs weigh on these new propellers. When I had this one brand new, this one's been on and off this about seven times. It was very stiff to put on. Now it's already getting loose. I have a feeling that over time, taking these propellers on and off, the hub will actually weigh. Whereas the metal ones never wore at all. I've never had any issues with metal hubbed props whatsoever. So that is something to be aware of. Currently these propellers are not showing up on the DJI store, but they are available. They are the 9450 Composite propellers. They are the same propellers issued in the E310 propulsion kit exactly the same propeller DJI currently aren't showing these as available on their website but if you search through their website under the propulsion system search for the E310 and you're looking for the 9450 composite propeller they're about a third of the cost of the metal ones so they should be nice and easy to spot next thing we're going to look at is balancing the propellers now it's always worth checking the balance on your new propellers DJI's are very good at the factory, however, it's always worth putting them on the balancer. I use the Jubro. This is a brand new balancer. I've only had this today. It's fantastic. I've used a lot of balancers over the years. None of them are as good as this. This is the best balancer on the market. Now, this one is designed to be used with these normal kind of propellers. What would normally happen is the propeller would sit in the rod between the middle there and you rotate it between the two rollers. 
So how do we put on a self-tightening propeller? Well, you could go online and buy yourself one of these rods. Thread on each end for the self-tightening propellers, and that would allow you to balance it, but you don't need it. You can still do it with the Dubro. Set it up so your rollers are in that position there. So what you would have is it like that. Strip your rod down. Take everything off the rod. Take one cone, place it on the back side of the rod like that. Take the rubber stopper, place it over the top. So now you just have that. Now we don't need these two. We can get rid of them, the rest of it, for a minute. Now this rubber tubing happens to be virtually the same diameter as the thread in the self-tightening propeller. So if you go in with it, screw it as you go in, the th rubber will actually bite the thread, give a bit of a push as well, and now that propeller is solidly on that balancing rod. The cone will self-centre the propeller to make sure it's perfectly centred on the rod, and that's it, you don't need anything else. So if we pop it on, have a look, let's put it towards the end of the bench. Now these are brand new props, only a couple of days old. And as you can see, we to balance them, we put them horizontal first. So if we sit it that side, that blade is dropping. So if we sit it that side, the same blade is dropping again. So this is showing that that blade is heavier than the top blade. The bottom blade is heavier than the top blade. Yeah. Very slightly. But it is heavier. Now there's two things you could do. Number one is take the new the blade that's heaviest and sand a bit off the back of it with some emery cloth. Very soft emery cloth. Not not a high rating at all. Alternatively, and what I actually prefer to do is use a little bit of insulation tape. The reason I like using insulation tape is because it's very easy to remove. So if we look at a prop here I've done earlier, what I've done is placed a strip of insulation tape along the top of the prop. So what we'll do now with this one that's on there is cut a piece and put it on. We won't need a lot for this one. The advantage to using insulation tape is A, it's easy to remove and B, it's easy to adjust. So if, you, if you're not happy with it, you can just take it off at any time. Put a slither on that one now. That is looking very good. So what we do is check the horizontals first, to check the blades, rotating it, and that prop is now spot on. Next we want to check the hub. Now to check the hub, you rotate the blade vertical, leave it go, and as you can see that blade is now dropping horizontal again. So what that is telling us is the bottom side of this hub is heavier than the top. If we go up the other way, Put it vertical and leave go. Again, it's dropping the same. That bottom part of the hub is heavier than the top part of the hub. So to check your blades, you sit it horizontally and whichever blade is heaviest, it will drop like that or like that. Whichever blade drops, rotate the prop 180 degrees and try it again and check the same blade does drop. Either sand a bit off from under the blade or add a bit of tape. Next then to balance the hub you place the prop vertical, leave it go and as you can see there that one is rotating back to horizontal. If we place it vertical on that side and leave go and he's doing again. So the bottom hub 
on this prop is slightly heavy. And that's it, straightforward as that, balancing props. Remember, do not fit normal metal hubbed props to the Phantom 3. If you want to keep your bird in the sky, um, only fit it with the composite hubbed props. Again, metal, silver insert, composite, it's the same colour as the prop, so you can easily see the difference. Metal, composite. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.